Get ready. It's time. Christina, Catherine, Amy, and Lauren. Welcome to the Cimarelli Podcast. Hey, I'm Christina. I'm Catherine. I'm Amy. I'm Lauren. And, and we're Cimarelli. Welcome back to the Cimarelli Podcast. <laughs> oh, this is she sad. She took me to spot. Well, I didn't do it nearly we as traded well. in, We traded in one for another. So welcome back, Kath, to the podcast. <laughs> hey. And Lisa, we'll see you again soon. We will. She's we'll coming back. We'll see you again. But currently she's out and Kath's in. So guys, hey, hello. Kay. Welcome to the Cimarelli Podcast. And let's see, what do I say first? Um, this one is on YouTube. Oh. Hello, YouTube. Um, if you want double the episodes, you have to join our Patreon. Link is in the description. We have double the episodes. There's 20 episodes of this season there. You're only getting 10 on YouTube. So if you love the podcast so much, you got to check out our Patreon. There's actually more than just that. There's a lot of stuff on there. Too much to list, TBH. And the last episode that we did was... New Year's resolutions and how to Ooh. fall in love this year. That was pretty Ooh. wild. And coming up, how we deal with depression and anxiety. Mm. Oof. It's going to be a deep, helpful deep one. one. So sign up for our Patreon. Link in the description. Check that out. All right. So Ooh, first, before we start, uh, everyone pause. Well, don't pause. Whatever. Scroll down and comment. Welcome back, Kathy. Just Thanks. do it. Just do it. Oh, and then nice while you're there, want you to subscribe. I thought Amy okay. was gonna go. Have you guys seen that TikTok? Holy spirit, no. activate. You thought she was Holy gonna do spirit. that. Yeah, activate. we were. Just gonna do I thought it was like pause. No. Holy spirit. No. Has everyone got to say hi to Kath? You know. Actually, no. I was gonna say we need to address the elephant in the room. Yes, Laura and I are wearing the same shirt. Oh, I forgot. No, we did not plan this. And yes, Christina does white loads, and I don't. That's why hers looks better. <laughs> this is what happens if you separate Wait, your whites from your colors. Do you use bleach in, in it? The, in no. the wash. I never just use bleach. normal wash, but white. I just avoid the the dark. Okay. That is too far. Sorry. Yeah. I gotta so, learn how to do it. I thought it was pointless, and then I learned it's not. Okay, so let's start with <laughs> my least favorite segment. What did you have for Ooh, breakfast this morning? Why okay. did you hate it? I don't know. She I just, just think it's boring. Yeah. Okay, you. Okay, guys. <laughs> I, okay. But Lisa's like, no, we have to do it. It's oh, we can fun. Skip it okay, Lisa's not here. Rats? No, no, just say it. Okay, go. Um, I had actually in a uh, shocking turn of events. I had a piece of quiche from Publix. Wow. What's Publix? The grocery store. I'm just I'm just representing the <laughs> people that we didn't know in that California don't know what it, what it is. Publix is a grocery store. Because Publix sounds like it's like the DMV or something. I don't know. It, it sounds does? Like Publix? A lot of people don't know what that Public is Public service. Or okay, like, whatever. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I just had two eggs. Not really enough for breakfast, TBH. Mm. Interesting. It happens to the best of us. Okay, I had one piece, which what isn't my norm of French toast made with sourdough. Again, not my norm, wow. but it actually turned out so good. French toast. Sourdough was so it was good. really, really good. Sourdough French toast is that? That seems weird because it's like sour. It wasn't sour at all. It just turned out really. I was shocked. It was huh. shocking. Toasted? I guess the like oh. the like stuff would kind of cover the sour. Yeah, piece. it wasn't sour at all. That's so interesting. Maybe when you cook it. So um, good. I had, um, I'm obsessed with these. Who am I? I used to hate yogurt. Um, it's Ugh. like these yogurt Love drinks. Yogurt. Do you remember when oh, you were a kid? Oh, no. Do you remember when I was a kid? Those Danimals yogurt drinks? No. Okay, it, no, it, honestly, it's just like a smoothie. No. It tastes like a creamy smoothie. It's, it's a little no. different. Strawberry banana no. Chobani yogurt drinks. It has 10 grams of protein and five strains of probiotics. So get one at the store. That's my dad for it. I They're mean, really good. Nice. And I literally have them like every day. They're so good. And then oatmeal. Um, two Me packets, oatmeal. two packets of instant I oatmeal. oatmeal. I think uh, I had brown sugar maple. I I only eat instant oatmeal. I hate oatmeal made from actual no, scratch. No, it's good. I it's used so to, gross. Wait, I feel like it's better. It's only it's good when you make it instant. No, no. I used to love oatmeal. Wait, I you know really what did. kind of oatmeal is really good. I know this might sound kind of weird, but when you're cooking it, okay, you cook it with some kind of milk. So I'd like almond milk. You heat up the milk, then you put in peanut butter to the milk, and it heats okay, up. Okay, okay. Then you put the I've oats done in, that and that's good. And then I put strawberries. But that's on too top. much work. Strawberry and peanut butter. I'm telling you, it was so. I can't. And then okay. sugar. It is so mm. good. I can't even explain how good it is. Like that. so good. I should make it one time. I don't know. I got time for that. Not these that I days. make breakfast for any of you people ever. Okay, so okay, you guys know how dress clothing for women can be very like tight, restrictive, uncomfortable. AKA why I don't ever wear it. But then you're like, what am I supposed to wear? Mm. Leggings everywhere, and then sometimes can't they do don't that. look nice enough. Yeah. Well, we have an amazing solution to that, which is our sponsor today. 
Beta Brand. Woo! Yeah. So we all got pants from Beta Brand. And basically what they do is they make dress pant yoga pants. So Ooh. I okay. Who knew that such a thing existed? Who I knew? know. If you basically want to look put together nice, but you don't want to be tortured, mm-hmm. this is something that you will love. They are very comfy, very high quality. I was very, very pleased with mine when I got them. Lauren was raving about hers as well. She got a very yeah, unique one, so which I cute. knew she was going to get. She got like a checkered one. What do you call They're it? They're like plaid. plaid. Guys, that is in now. Okay, okay I'm not going to wear it. plaid pants, but well, you are. I will. I got the, it is um, cute. the straight leg seven pocket dress pant yoga pants. Black and white Glen plaid. Oh, and I got the extra long ones. You um, did? And they were really long. Like, But I like them long. Like, You know, that's like a trend Tell them how lately. tall you are. I'm 5'7". Yeah. For so, reference. Ooh, like, tall usually, is like, long. long pants just like fit pretty normally for me. But these are like, if you're tall, like these they will definitely you. fit. So they're, they're a little bit like they like crinkle at the bottom which i like so which one okay amy and kath and i got the exact yeah, same we yeah we all got did. the journey pant in black very exciting. which i knew someone was nice. the same they one they look like very versatile i feel like they could go with a lot of different yeah. like styles of outfits that's why i got them yeah, yeah. i wanted to, okay every time i go somewhere nice like church then i want to wear like a long sweater whatever and then i always end up wearing it with my leggings and i always think this doesn't quite feel put together enough but i don't know what else i'm gonna wear i'm just not gonna torture myself so i specifically got mine for that purpose so i can actually look a little more put together but not tortured which you know, one you got a unique that. one what no I mean, compared to the rest of i us. wanted to get a cra- one of the Who crazier the colors one. but unfortunately they weren't stock but i got the dress pant yoga pant boot cut in black like Ooh. flares Ooh. Ooh. flares. I, no one else got a boot cut i was gonna uh, get one mine straight leg yeah i almost got I one shocked. i kind of regret it i think i need to get one of those yeah <sighs> You know, I will say it was kind of a profound moment for me when I put them on because I was like, this is so comfortable. And all the pants I wear are not. And They're it's not. like, why <laughs> do we torture ourselves why? all day? Why do yeah. people yeah. need to be tortured? We deserve, I think people are realizing the pandemic. We deserve, we deserve comfort. Comfort. Especially we if do. it's like a daily thing you're wearing. Yeah. Comfort. Mm-hmm. You deserve it. And some details I want to mention is pockets. Machine washable yoga denim. Ooh, Have you ever wild. heard of that before? I want to try that too. I want to try yeah. flares and I want to try yoga denim. Yoga denim. Yes. Because that's intriguing to me. Love that. Mm-hmm. Right now, you guys can get 30% off your beta brand order when you go to betabrand.com slash Cimarelli. Beta brand is B E T A B R A N D. And of course, Cimarelli, C I M O R E L L I. You guys better know that. But you know what? It's hard <laughs> to spell. So maybe you don't know. <laughs> Apparently, women are buying five pairs of these. I mean, you know, I if would. the pants work, you work them hard. Oh, 100%. Yeah. You get them in every color. Oh, so if yeah. you want to be put together but not tortured, you want to be comfortable. Comfy. Go to beta brand, B E T A brand.com slash Cimarelli. 30% off your order for a limited time. Make sure to use our special URL, which is in the description. Click the link, 30% off. Things do sell out fast. So if you see something, you got to snag it. Lisa, want to get those fun it. colors, but gone. So wow. you see it, you like it. Got to get it. You want it, you got it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Beta Brand, for sponsoring. Go check it out, you guys. Link in the description. Let's go to yeah. our four perspectives. Our four pops. So today, we're going to share our four perspectives. Oh, my gosh. I didn't even tell you what the topic of the day is before. I'm supposed to tell you that first. Guys, the topic that we're going to discuss today, later on, the main topic is subtle red flags in friendships. Oof. Oof. I know this is a really popular topic because the other day, I saw it was a really big search. Toxic friends was a really big search. And I know that's just really common to deal with toxic friends. So uh, yeah. we'll get to it later. That's coming up. But for now, we're going to share our four perspectives. What's your number one dating deal breaker? Now, okay. <laughs> this is really hard, actually. Is this, rega- this is not like a red flag thing. This is like a different thing, right? Deal breaker. Okay, so I said it can't be, oh, someone who believes nothing even close to what I believe and I hate everything about them and we never will get along. Because that's like, duh, you're not going to date don't in be the first Captain place. Okay, wait, are so you I'm mean? saying, assume you actually connect with this person on some level, but then it's like, ooh, that thing just happened. Deal breaker. That's my number one ooh. deal breaker. Okay, Dude, listen, don't let the number one oh. scare you. Just like red a flag. high up there deal breaker. Okay? But it does, is it a red flag too or not? 
I don't know. It, it could, could not be. be. It could not be. Someone who's like vegan might be like someone who is obsessed with meat is my that's my number one deal breaker and that might yeah. be a red flag to them but I don't think that's a red flag yeah that's true <laughs> okay, I mean, it's your okay. own personal <laughs> deal breaker your own personal blog. not everyone has the same deal breakers okay okay, okay. who's starting my deal breaker <laughs> I'm so is interested if you can't take a joke I literally can't speak to you if you can't take a joke you'd be the best <laughs> person nice person but if I'm like haha joke and you're like oh, what do you mean like I literally can't do have it have you met a I lot of guys who couldn't take a joke yes and they're so sensitive like oh, what the heck and I'm like it was a joke it's a joke wow. I can't do it <laughs> I haven't encountered it that much it literally drives me crazy I'm like that I can't sounds, speak I can't talk sounds like a toxic person TBH maybe just saying Okay, what do you guys think? Um, I don't really, I'm trying to think of how to condense this, but basically my red flag is one per, one particular person well, I'm thinking of that I dated. Oh, red, or deal breaker is um, basically mean, <laughs> like, <laughs> like rude, harsh, makes you want to cry every time you go Too on a date harsh. with them. Mm. Yeah. Like, Which is confusing because like, I'm like, why are you dating them? Because you kept thinking that, I don't know, like, okay, it's like, it's not like the whole time you're with them, they're mean. Like, oh, okay. sometimes they're really, it's But good. they have moments where they're so harsh, you're like, okay, that's deal breaker. Yeah, I think mm. in my mind, this person, it was like, I built them up to be the perfect man from far away. <laughs> and then when we actually hung out, I was almost in tears every time because he was like, but why do you think that? Why, why, why? And just like, oh so like mean about, Demanding. and just combative and harsh and everything had to be an argument. And I was literally like, okay, this time we're gonna go on a date again and I'm gonna avoid all the topics that are too serious so that <laughs> no. I won't get upset. Oh my God. And he still made me want to cry. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, I would just say like really harsh and like, blunt but like i don't know my husband's blunt but not in like a mean way so it's like just that you know what i mean that yeah. type of person it's just very like like a, a sword just like stabbing you but it's interesting <laughs> that this guy ended up realizing that marriage wasn't no relationships let's not get romantic <laughs> relationships weren't for him at all mm. so interesting it happens. interesting he may have he may have entered the, the priesthood yeah that may have happened so we'll see. <laughs> So, and God bless his soul. He is God a very bless. nice man now. But not when we were in our 20s. <laughs> it happens. Well, I'm still in my 20s. You want to say, wait, did you say yours? No. Number one deal breaker. Here's the thing. I feel like there's two that I'm thinking of. Just that tell I just, us one. They give Come me, on. I just, I feel bad. Um, what? Why you feel bad? It's kind of the opposite Amy, of Lauren. Just is tell us one. Someone that makes fun of me too much. Yes. Oh. I can't deal with that. You mean people like, go, you're going to make me that? cry. Oh, oh my God. God. Like, God. God. like your gut. Lauren never does that. You don't go like, oh, oh what, what was that? that? Here, side note, don't do that. If you do that, what? just stop. I like just it don't when, do okay, it. wait. I think no. I think sometimes when people do it, it's kind of playful, and then sometimes when they do it, it's yeah. really annoying. There's very few types Every, of people that can say that can it's not off annoying. I would say really that annoying. it's pulled off about fifteen percent of the time. Yeah. Okay, that, I agree with that. Maybe time it's bitter and judgmental. Okay, annoying people are drawn to doing that, but not all people do that are <laughs> annoying. I have to say, yeah. some people are just like playful, but not. No, I don't like it. Like if you make fun of me, I can't be around you. I'm mm. sorry. No offense. I already yeah. get it from her all day, so it's people like. That make fun of Amy. That's a special brand of evil. Yeah, because like, <laughs> it is a red flag. <laughs> it, it is. is. Amy's is literally the, like the nicest Thank person. You. So it's like, wait, why are you people that make fun of her? I'm like, you're just yeah. threatened. You're that, threatened by a good time. I will start crying. <laughs> I will literally start crying, and I can't. That, Unless we they can't do, do it that. out of love. Some people do it out of there's love. There's a way. There's like roasting, and then there's like mm, making fun of. There's like yeah. a distinction. Like trying to make themselves feel like kind of like in control in a weird way yes like you're yeah. down a little oh my bit gosh. or if you point out something i said was incorrect um in an annoying way i can't be around oh you. i probably do that to you a lot though yeah but <laughs> actually no offense i don't really say that many incorrect things so. yeah yeah that's true oh, and if you point out my typos we're done because okay that's just, anyway, oh, okay. the other thing okay. the last one it's the short well, one you got a lot of different things i do because i just get so annoyed and this one i feel bad for so i am sorry but guys that are too into um, artistic things. <laughs> or. Okay, this is a lot of deal yeah, breakers. That's it. Okay. That's so those like are it. the top oh. ones. I just can't do it. Amy's bit. future husband is like, I hate painting. <laughs> I hate music. <laughs> yeah. I hate joy. No, you can enjoy them, but like, but I she's don't like know. too into. Yeah. So you don't want a guy who's like wearing a beret sitting there going. Yes. Like it's his personality. Yeah. His yeah. Personality. Okay. 
So speaking of, <laughs> speaking of um, what did you say? Typos? I think I told this before, but you guys are probably all don't know this. Okay, so Nick has impeccable grammar and spelling for the most part. Like impeccable. That's Way better than me. But I always feel like I need to explain it to people that don't know. I always feel like there's this one person who stumbled across this podcast and doesn't know us. That's her what? husband. Oh. I was just telling. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just telling them. But masses. there's just one thing. In the beginning, he kept saying definitely <laughs> instead of definitely not saying like te- uh, typing so then i let it go for probably four months three months i remember because it was after i moved we moved to malibu so that was several months later was i let it go phones for a while spell check. i feel like phones do spell check now yeah, yeah. so they then didn't do it back then. after a while i just had to say nick i'm really sorry but it's def it's definitely it's not <laughs> definitely that's a deal breaker i had to say no it wasn't deal breaker i just had to point that out i just want to tell that story oh uh, okay it's okay. just a random story but yeah i pointed out and he was like oh whatever and then he he always spells it right now but it was surprising because he has such great grammar and spelling i think he mm. wanted to know he's spelling wrong because he cares oh, yeah. about grammar yeah i wasn't saying it in an annoying way but anyway <laughs> so mine it was hard to figure out how to word it mine is when a guy c- uh, can't, I don't know how to say this right, like talk about deeper or like emotional things. Uh, like oh, he's so yeah. triggered by everything and then like can't acknowledge things. Like couldn't acknowledge that he was like upset or couldn't acknowledge that, or like trying to talk about something deep and he just can't do it. So he wants to avoid a bunch yeah, of these things. Like very uncomfortable about emotions and depth. And I understand that these things can be uncomfortable, but that doesn't mean you like can't talk about any of them ever. Mm. Yeah. yeah. They just so. need to find someone else who's kind of shallow. Because you yes. love to talk about those things. Yes. So I wanted to find someone who could talk to me on that level of depth. Yes. If not, deal breaker. Yeah, mm. I feel that. I relate okay. to that a lot. That was good. I don't exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a chill guy. I don't exactly. <laughs> I get scared. What? But you, we talk about deep stuff all the time, and you, you join love in to talk no, about deep stuff. I do, stuff. but I'm saying in relationships. Oh, if he's talking about shallow stuff a while, you're like, that's fine. Yeah, I'm like, we're chilling. We're just vibing, you know. Well, I agreed in the beginning, but then after a while, I'm like, oh yeah. After a while, you gotta be well, able to get into actually it. not that long. But I'm like, can we start talking about like something deeper? Okay, I always, had, I always had to reel it back in relationships. I would go too deep and be like, oh, too deep, too soon. Got to reel it back. Mm. Yeah, there's the balance. Okay. Got to have so, boundaries. Number one dating deal breakers. There you go. Let's go to our main topic. <laughs> Toxic friends. Oof, I, wrote oh, some, subtle I wrote some notes for this. Red flags in relationships. And I think guys, you made this listen, one up, right? Yes, I made this up. It's subtle red flags. Not really obvious things like, like your friend you to tears every you day. in the face okay that's really <laughs> obvious i hope that's obvious oh, to you yes that, i don't that's know maybe that's not though. super obvious to everyone Actually, like I've subtleties realized a lot of things that are red flags aren't obvious to people. Yeah. yeah. Like they actually just think, oh, this is okay. And then they, later they realize that was so not okay. Yeah. So what is subtle? A okay. little confusing. Oh, I have one to start yeah. us off. You go, Kathy. Good, okay. I can't really think She of came them. with notes. Yeah, I wrote notes. Passive aggressive texting. No, Ooh, man. That's the first what does that one? mean? Okay, so this is tell so me if annoying. I'm, I always feel like I'm crazy because I've had several of these friends. Tell me this if you guys true. relate to this. Certain people. They have a pattern in their texting style. So some people just never put punctuation. They never do explanation points. They never do emojis. And that's just their style. So you know if you're talking to them, they're not mad at you. That's just how they like type. Like our mom. Yeah, like our mom. <laughs> okay. She looks so <laughs> mad. So some people just type like, okay, I hate everything. But you know they don't actually hate everything because that's just how they type. But some people, mm-hmm, you know who you are, um, they, they love to do like, they regularly do exclamations, smileys, like all this like peppy stuff. And then when they're mad at you, they just go, okay. And they change their texting style <laughs> yeah, no. to like tell you that they're mad in a non-direct way. Because okay mm. does not mean I'm mad. That means yeah. okay. Like suddenly they're like, oh yeah, how are you? Exclamation, exclamation. And suddenly they're just like, yeah, that's fine. No punctuation or something. <laughs> and you're yeah. like, bro. You mad? And and I've literally been like this to people. Are you, are you okay? Are you upset? I'll literally text them that or I'll call them and be like, hey, I got your text. Were you mad? And they're like, oh, no, fine. I'm fine. No, no, you're just reading it wrong. I was fine. No, you were not fine. I know your texting <laughs> style. I know your texting style is different. And you just changed it after like a bunch in a row. So that is... Because you found this in friendships that you had this problem that later on you ended up either having a conversation about, yes, they were upset or you right. just yeah. didn't end up being close friends because it didn't right. work. Like it's not, that's not just the only problem. That is one of many. But that was a real sign. That you you see. They denied it. You found later on for, through experience that it was real. Because Kevin yeah. often will say like, this is actually more in the past. She'd be like, 
this person just said this. Doesn't this sound like they're mad or am I crazy? You'd be like, uh, yeah, it does. She's like, but they said they weren't mad. Like, yeah. We would talk about this Then a lot. you try to call them out and then they gaslight you. So anyway, that always happened to me. Weird. But so, you yeah. know, it's hard for a lot of people to express anger. But yeah, it is. doesn't really work. But if I call you out on your anger, you gotta tell me that you are angry. Don't be like, I'm not angry because then you're just making me feel crazy. So that's a good subtle one. Okay, I have another one. Um, when someone, every time you hang out and talk pretty much, they just talk, 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 talk about themselves, their life, blah, 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 forever. And Oof. then they maybe ask you like one question, like, so how are you? You're like, oh yeah, I'm good, blah, blah, blah. Like, cool, ah. anyway, so blah, blah, blah. Like they only talk about themselves mm. and not you. It's not necessarily like, oh, they're being mean or horrible person, this or that. But I think that is a subtle red flag because it's like they don't really care about like involving you, you in the relationship. They're like, listen to me, cool. Yeah, yeah. They're like using you but to listen I would add the whole to that, time. That if you call them out on it, like they might change it. Because I actually had that happen with one of my friends, and I did. I told her I was like, "Hey, just so you know, like I was having a really hard day, and then you called me, and like you only talked about yourself for like forty five minutes. But I really wanted to, <laughs> I really wanted to tell you what was going on with me, and I was kind of sad that you never asked. And she was like, "Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry." And she said it did make her feel bad, but then she like because she was like embarrassed but then she realized and then she really made that change and has not done but that is since. that what you always did every time you hung out um not every time <laughs> but like a lot of the times because some people literally they just blah 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 forever about themselves yeah so if you talk to them about it have an honest conversation and they don't do anything then if they don't do anything yeah some yeah. people just want an audience that's true because some people yeah you might not realize they're just like a talkative person yeah, so yeah, give them a chance. i'm very much like that on accident so then i just learned to ask them first how they're doing and then jump into myself mm. oh, well, but you yeah. also don't want to do that and make it feel like that you're not i'm not saying you do this i'm saying you don't want to do that and make it feel like you're just getting it out of the way like, no you have to so genuinely you? listen okay, so here's about me but like, that way you make sure that you do yeah it. yeah no i'm not saying you do that. i'm just saying i've seen people do yes, that where you feel like they're just point. asking you but they don't actually care good yeah. point uh i would say pay attention to how you feel when you leave hanging out with them. I literally wrote that in my notes too. Yeah, yes. it's like, do you feel anxious when you leave hanging out with <laughs> them? That. Do you feel like exhausted when you leave hanging out with them? Do you feel relieved when you leave hanging out with them? Oof, that's not a that's good a sign. That's a really good point. Relief. Those are not good signs. You okay. should feel like happy or like uplifted, content, uplifted. Yeah. Inspired. Yeah. Um, that kind of goes with mine, which is, I don't know, is this a subtle word? Uh, well, I think so, maybe. Um, the mm. Well, it's even, I guess maybe this is kind of even hard to think about, but like they are on like a lower level than you want to be, like with what they talk about, like the level of things. I don't know if I'm explaining that well. Like I just thinking of this one girl that I went to coffee with a long time ago, a couple of years, when we came to Nashville at some point, and she was talking about how she really wanted to release a song or something, and I was like, oh, you do? Well, and then I started, of course, launching into, okay, well, are you recording it? Where are you gonna record it? How are you gonna do that? Um, how are you gonna do artwork? How are you gonna do this? How are you gonna promote it, blah, blah, blah. You could do this, you do that, but start talking about plans and stuff, because I was like, oh, that's really cool that that's what you wanna do. But then she didn't really, she was like, oh, and didn't really wanna talk about it. Um, further than that but she kept saying that she wanted to do it but then when we would talk about details she didn't want to talk about the details at all and then we would talk about just things in her life and i always like to talk people to people about like things in our life and then like we both talk about like how we could improve things but every time she would mention something i'd be like oh well you could try this or whatever um she would just be like ah, ah, ah. so she was in a different like level than what i wanted to be at in my life if that makes sense it's like if someone's like oh I hate working at this place. And then you're like, oh, yeah. I hate working at where I work too. And then you're both just like, yeah. Like, <laughs> I don't want to do that. <laughs> I'm like, oh, well, what are some other options? What are other things you like to do? Like, I had this other friend, and she was talking about how she wanted to own um, her own dance studio. And we talked about it a lot. And then, like, a year and a half later, she owned her own dance studio and mm -hmm. it's still going on right now and thriving and doing really well which was really cool because we would talk about it her plans and stuff so the other girl it doesn't necessarily mean she's like a bad person or something i think she was just like at a different stage of life i don't know if she ever went up to a different stage but that's not the stage that i wanted to be at so for me it was like if i'm around people who are kind of like dragging me down in a way i mean that really does happen if you're around people who just don't really have kind of the same goals as you, 
that thing that's like you're the what is it you're the you're the sum of your five closest friends okay i think that thing is pretty true Mm -hmm. um from what i've experienced if you're around people who are like really thinking big you do think bigger and you're around Mm -hmm. people think really small you tend to think smaller yeah and it is really draining to be in conversations all the time where you're just talking about other people or things that are like not good in your life or their life and it's just kind of like yeah like more negative like things. negative yeah, yeah. And, and it's it kind of feel subtle because it could be like oh we're just talking about whatever but then it's like i think it's kind of a, a red flag that it's not going to be a like life-giving, life-giving friendship. friendship yeah yeah it's not like they're a bad person it's yeah. just like mm, it's just like that's mm. what where they are and what they like to like talk about and do yeah, and I would I was gonna add to quick this. I thought you I thought you were gonna say this when you began, but then I realized you had a different direction. But I was just gonna say people that in general just gossip and that's all they really do is, is talk about other flag. people because I, it's really sad. I mean, I feel like gossiping is like you feel like you don't have anything to say about your own life. So you just wanna <laughs> talk about other people's lives. And that and I mean I've been there before, so it's really sad. And that's not a positive way to be a friend it doesn't mean that you can't talk about people that you know or like things that have happened that involve you but like all you do but all you do is talk about about other people and then if people ask you about your own life you don't want to talk about it that can be really not a good sign especially if it's like you're talking about drama like oh my gosh did you hear this oh person, yeah the drama this happened oh my gosh yeah. yeah she's so annoying blah 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 whatever that is just so toxic i feel like it's hard okay it's hard not to talk about anyone at all period especially because i like to talk about everything anyone does ever psychologically i'm like oh i wonder if she did that because of this you know this thing is like this and her personality was like this and then she did this thing which was this whatever but i don't want it to be like oh like br- like uh insulting people behind their backs <sighs> yeah it just they, does not yeah, they feel say good. like if you just talk about someone as if they were in the room don't say anything you don't want you wouldn't be comfortable saying to their face also, their yeah, that's that a really good rule one. because you don't mm-hmm. know what's like, gonna I get back like to them. Childhood trauma can trigger this. I wouldn't necessarily <laughs> say that. <laughs> but also, it's like you never know what's gonna get yeah. back to them. I like too. to learn from other people's. I, I pretend that they're in the room, and yeah. I sometimes don't meet that standard. because That's a pretty high standard to meet. It is a good thing to, uh, but just try. Think for of it. it. I try to think, give them the benefit of the doubt. I do think that I'm like, if they hear that I said this, will I be willing to back this up? Who has another red flag? Sun okay. red flag. I don't know. This is not subtle to me, but I think it probably is to other people. If you notice a pattern with someone where they're like, oh, my friend, love them, they're great. And then they're like, I hate them. They're the worst person ever. We're not friends anymore. And like, there are certain people where it's like, it always seems like, oh, they have this friend and they love them and they're great. And then suddenly it's like, I hate them. They're the worst person ever. It's like, hmm. Yikes. How do you go from being friends to like, hating people so much like because i hear that and i think like okay so just because we're friends right now you would not hesitate to like roast me behind my back later because you're literally doing this to all your other friends yeah Yeah, that's definitely a red flag Mm -hmm. yeah and i guess that also goes with like people who talk badly about their friends behind their backs yes. to you if they're talking badly about other people they're talking badly about you to other people yeah. like yeah. or if they're not they would if you did something I feel like, like it feels like you're bonding in the moment you're like oh we're both talking about this person and you think oh no they wouldn't talk about me this way because we're both talking about this person but that is so not true it they totally true. would talk every about every time you. i'm like all right so you would say many things about me cool yeah that's that ain't a good think. sign at like, all okay. yeah i would say um people that are or not okay hypercritical that is a a subtle red flag that we don't necessarily notice but it just chips away like about what stuff do you think anything it's like you said you're wearing up they're like oh that shirt Hmm." you wear your hair different oh your hair oh you want to watch a certain movie oh that's dumb i guess some people tolerate Mm -hmm. a lot of people tolerate a a lot of it even one comment like that i'd be like excuse me but people do tolerate a lot I tolerated of that. a lot of that in my friendships. People literally yeah. said things like that to me. Which I'm like, how do you? And but I, I think just, most people do. So that is something to remind you guys. That is definitely not right. Not right. Because they're right. like, because then when you call them out on it, that was a note that I made. Then they're just like, oh, just joking. Like, yeah, because people. It was, I wasn't being serious. But tell people not, can not also, joke. Okay. People can also <laughs> say rude comments as a joke. Like, like, yes, I you're so this. stupid. <laughs> yes, like I, I witnessed this one time with my friend. Like I met her other friends, and they were like 
she was wearing like sweatpants or something and they were wearing like more like dressed up clothes or not like dressed up but, like jeans and whatever and they're like wow you look so comfortable i wish i could dress like that <gasps> oh, <laughs> what? What? <laughs> like oh ha 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 but it's like that's rude like you're you saying think, like you look ugly i wish i had the confidence do you to do so, that telling someone they look comfortable is an insult because people yes. told me that a lot no it okay. depends. depends on the person because i was wondering i was like wait people tell me like I if i'm wearing like jeans are squeezing me and i see someone wearing like not that i'm like oh you oh, look so, you comfortable. Look so comfortable. wish i was you <laughs> if they're wearing you like a soft vibe it. but i've never said that to someone because i feel like it's I weird but i feel like, like i never think people look comfortable except for when amy is wearing the um blanket that i gave her well oh, sometimes yeah. someone's wearing like really cozy outfit they're wearing yeah. like sweats and you're like that's Oof. true yeah guys i will i'll just feel someone's sweater and be like oh it's really soft i want to wear that it's different. Is that weird? Huh? That's, that's a different cool. one. <laughs> that's a different one. Oh, man. Yeah. Okay, what other so Also, I want to say that I feel like... Do you guys feel like... Okay, this isn't very off topic, but do you feel like we talk <laughs> differently with each other than we would with a friend? Because I feel like I will just blow off steam with you guys and be, like, ranting about stuff and sound like a very rude person. And then... But I would never say that to my friends. You know what I mean? Like... I think of you guys as an extension of my brain. So it's like, I could tell you something that I wouldn't tell another friend, like in confidence or something, because I'm like, oh, they would never tell. Not that not that I tell, I, if someone tells me not to tell, I'm not going to tell. I'm like pretty good about keeping secrets. But I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like it's different with your sisters. Do you um, really that? Yes. Some friends, I talk the same way, where I'm like, this sounds really rude, but just here's how I feel. <laughs> so. yeah. Yeah. yeah, I just feel like I'll be like to you guys, that's the worst person ever. Meh, 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 meh. But then I'm like, okay, I know I'm being dramatic. They understand. They yeah. don't think I'm actually well, you that. you don't actually say anything like that, though. Yeah, I don't know. I just <laughs> feel like I blow off steam sometimes when I'm mad. But, yeah. I, but I don't actually think that. I'm just in a mood. I, I think my problem yeah. is I talk about people's childhood trauma way too much. <laughs> just yeah, because, say, yeah. not because I'm trying to gossip about them, just because I'm so analytical well i feel like to you're... analyze them but i mm. know i'm like oh. well i mean I, I feel like at all times you're running like a clinical study yes. in your yes. brain and, and it's not <laughs> yes. in a gossipy or tearing but down I'm way like, oh i gotta chill but you're running a clinical study mm. yeah so you gotta yeah. it's yeah. really annoying but... i feel like a lot of people have gotten so off topic again but people <laughs> have gotten really annoyed at us for our interest in personality psychology yeah. Only a certain type like, of person. Ugh, I don't want to be put in a box. Yeah. I don't like the Enneagram. Yeah. I don't like this. I don't like M MBTI because I don't want to be put in a box. And people are not the same and you can't categorize them. Yeah. Which, you know what? That is that is a very valid uh, point of view that I just don't relate to. <laughs> so, <laughs> just saying. I mean, I get it. If, if someone's like that, that, that is totally their, that, you know, we their power. We don't really try to... But I think we don't really them us, like, we don't really get along with people because that's like such a thing we talk about a lot. Because we like to break things down and analyze them in depth, and that yes. person's like, no, nope, there's no depth to analyze. We'll we'll analyze one aspect of personality psychology for probably two to three years because it's interesting yeah. to us. We're yeah. just really interested in it. Yeah, like oh, I wonder what causes this thing, or I wonder if this is connected to this. And it's, then we yeah, just it's wonder not because you're trying to put people in a box. It's because you're trying to understand, understand. intention and. Um, human behavior like why yeah. are we obsessed with I, just, but I, I don't complex. naturally understand at all so I'm just yeah, trying same. really hard to understand yeah I don't know this whole thing about just talking about people is making me think about the way we talk about people and I'm like yeah. there's so many facets to it there yeah, really I are there yeah, really I are. just took it I'm very off topic yeah. of red flags <laughs> okay let's get a couple more red flags okay in. I would say one that I've experienced is really flaky oh, I like was if you have that. to go yes. off of a gut vibe if someone's gonna come to something or not and they're not going to tell you no, whether no, or not no, they're yeah. going to come. And then they drop off the face of the earth for two days after they don't show up. Oh, Oof. my. It's How many not chances the best. do uh, you have? Years. One. Oh. <laughs> I have. I'm bad. I give oh. two. Yeah. After two, I'm like, you're never like, going to oh, show up. <laughs> maybe it was a fluke. And the second I'm like, this is a pattern. Because I no. genuinely have friends where I think I've had friends where I think they are genuinely such a good person, but I cannot count on them for anything. Yes. And it's and so sad because you, you want to hang out. We, yeah, yeah. When we hang out, it's so great. Like we have such good conversations. Yes. Great time. But you never get to hang out because they're always like, oh, disappeared. Yeah. Lost in the wind. And yeah. you That's feel like so a true. crazy so person. Sad. Why are a lot of those people so fun? Well, and love, great to uh, hang out with. I, I think like a problem, I'm thinking of one and she's so yes, amazing to hang out with. they're so like nice and like uh, I think the problem is they're afraid to say no in the first place. Because like mm. if you can't hang out, don't say that you can. You know, like 
I think they really want to, and they're like, oh, I have this like 10 million things that day, but like, I, I'm sure well, I can still get a lot going on normally. Why you can't just say that you can't when you can't? Because they are afraid of letting down. When it's you down. coming down, when, yeah, it, when it's the like, time has come. I think it's like too much conflict. It's a huge fear. But yeah. Yeah. Like letting you down even and worse. I get it. Makes it worse. Yeah. Yeah. That is it's a, really a hard. red flag. Because it really wears you down, and it's not like good That's for horrible. your soul. I can't do it. And it's just so sad because they're some of the best people. Oh, so upset. Ugh. Okay, this is not really necessarily a red flag, but it is to me personally. It might not be to someone else, but it is to me. Oh, I'm interested. Which this is just like, you have to know certain people are not going to be good friends for you, not because they're necessarily like a bad person, but because you're just not meshing. Not a good match. So like... A red flag in that sense to me is people that like want to go out and do things and spend money all the time. And like, I don't want to do that. (laughs) We cannot, like, this is not going to work if you're like, oh, we got to go like to the grand opening or whatever. To the Grammys. I don't care about the grand opening or like the street fair. I don't want to go. I don't care. And if you can't just like sit home and hang out, like, that's what I like to do. So it's like, that's a red flag for me. Not like people that like to go out and do stuff, but that's all they like to do and they don't like to like chill. I'm like, this is not going to work. That's so, that's a great point. We've talked about that before, how there's kind of like two types of people basically when it comes to that. And it's like people who really like to do all the The stuff and they really like to be out there and be at all of the grand openings and then people who are like no i would rather die i would rather actually no most time i'd rather die but every once in a while i'm like okay i, I would rather not do that i have a theory on that i think it might be and maybe i'm wrong on this but i think when people only want to hang out if it's like this grand event it's because they are afraid of being vulnerable mm, you're because so right. when you're just at home in your sweats that is a lot more vulnerable. and you guys are just like talking and like making food that is like not a glamorous version of you and you're mm-hmm. probably going to be more susceptible to talking about personal things so i think i don't know i could be wrong on that that could just be a generalization if you're like in a restaurant or in a crowd or it's just more doing just something like more fun, fun light like oh how's work oh it's great yeah how's like your if work? you <laughs> only want to do that <laughs> yeah. not if you just Which do is that nothing wrong with going yeah, cause, cause there's some people that love to go to the grand opening this and that but they also like to hang yeah. out it's both i like yes. to go to the grand opening sometimes yes, you know, yes. The grand i'm opening. thinking of something <laughs> like a concert i want to go to a I'm concert i'm thinking of someone specific and she loves Loves to do every grand opening thing, <laughs> but it. on like the drive there, she'll have like deep, really great conversations. That also yeah. And she like really me. likes both. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's yeah. So, so that's someone, not what I'm talking who about. Only yes. wants to do that, and they absolutely <laughs> the grand opening. They absolutely don't just want to hang out and just chill. Guys, I think of this yeah, person just shows up all these ribbon cuttings. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, here to cut the ribbon. <laughs> it, hopefully, you understand what we're saying. Also, I would say someone that is just genuinely disrespectful, and I think a lot mm. of people don't understand like how what they should is. be treated and what is respectful and what is True. not respectful. What's like an example like of that? Like just someone who doesn't respect your boundaries, they don't mm. respect your time, they don't respect your things. Like kind of pushy. Yeah, Ugh. they're pushy. That you feel forced into a lot of things. Like you constantly have to be repeating things or reminding of things or defending yourself yeah. all the time it's like wait why do i have to constantly do this why are they constantly pushing yeah, everything or if they like are making fun of you a lot i'm just real passionate oh, about not making fun of people okay oh uh, yeah because i will cry is this is like when people i i've seen this happen in people's relation like like marriage slash dating relationships where like one person's telling a story and the other person's like that didn't happen <laughs> no, no, it didn't. Um, no, it was it was on a Tuesday. A no, it was a purple shirt. What are you talking about? You made that up. They literally <laughs> are tr- acting like this person is insane, and that is your partner. <laughs> why are you Why are you talking to your partner like that? Yeah. If you think they're crazy, why did you marry them? Or why are you dating them? Or why are you in a friendship with them? Like, if you genuinely think this person is out of their mind and has a false sense of reality, why are you in a relationship <laughs> with them or in a friendship with them? Like, that's just true. Always blows my mind. I'm, I'm just sit there and I'm like. If you really don't like them that much or don't respect them, why are you around them? I was talking about <laughs> this exact thing before, how um, Nick kind of does not the correcting thing. He kind of does embellishing his story sometimes, you know, but so do I. <laughs> and he never calls me out on embellishing anything. So, you know, I was like, Wait, okay. what's an example of how you would embellish? Just like making it a little more dramatic. A little more not dramatic. Not like a really dramatic, not like a like huge embellishment. Like my jaw dropped. It's like, did it? Yeah, just mm. making it a little I was heightened. down to my last pair of underwear. <laughs> <laughs> it really <laughs> had three left. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, like that. Not like. I needed to do laundry. Yes. Right now, I'm going to yes. explode. Okay. Like that. Not like 
Then I went to Jamaica when I really didn't go anywhere. <laughs> not that. But that's I'm not embellishing. Saying, that's a flat out lie. It, yeah, exactly. I'm saying just like the underwear thing, basically. Okay. It's just, just dramatic. Just adding some spice. I but think yeah, I it made too. me realize, you know, Nick doesn't call me out if I'm being really dramatic. So if he's being dramatic in a story, you know, embellishing, I'm just like, hmm. You're like, interesting, interesting, all day. But interesting it was like perspective. four hours ago. It's different from what I saw, but you know, <laughs> okay. just go for it. <laughs> Do you say that? Live your life. No, I don't say it. I just think it and I go. <laughs> That's an interesting perspective. <laughs> different than what I would say. <laughs> just go for because it. Because I'm like, you know, sometimes I do that. It's okay, whatever. Not the worst thing. I do it too, honestly. Who doesn't? I'm just trying I to support him I in his storytelling. I'm like, hmm. <laughs> Interesting. That's funny. Okay. That I was... think I can just make any detail really dramatic in the way that I say it. So I'm pretty sure yeah, the details it's like the delivery. you don't say. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. That's a not so subtle red flag, though, is actual lying. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Especially when people lie all the time and say, I'm a really honest person. Oh, no. my gosh. It's so People weird. don't have no, to no, make no, qualifying no. statements our about themselves. That, our brother says that that's a red flag um, oh, yeah. when someone says, to be honest all the time or honestly or I'm really honest person stuff like that he says he finds that a lot of um, lying scammy type of people tend to do that a lot not everyone obviously but a lot of people well if you have to qualify yourself like oh yeah I'm really honest oh I'm a really good guy yeah really we, used to, we used to say no. that guys that have to say they're a good guy are not a good guy they're not because yeah. good guys so just be weird. a good guy without having to like tell you that they are and exactly. I feel like that applies to friends too it's like you don't have to say all your qualities you just be them yeah okay that's a great place to end the segment and we can move on to sister spotlight Ooh. i don't know if you guys guess who would be this week but Ooh. sister spotlight Are, we, we put not do this anymore? the spotlight no, on a different sister every week we have get real with christina sassy or sappy thoughts with kath lisa's corner is that we're calling it yep. i keep forgetting lisa's wacky corner um amy's current crisis and lauren's take and this week the oh, spotlight kind of dizzy. goes on Ding! Is it sappy? Sap- sappy. Sappy thoughts with Kat. Yeehaw! Hey guys. Well, you don't have the shawl, do you? Welcome. Oh, the I sappiest my one. Shawl. It's okay. Well, we don't need the jacket. It's a shawl. <laughs> no, it's okay. Oh, there's a towel. I have a no, towel. I, it's okay. I don't need the towel. Because like I will not I don't need be putting a, I don't a, need a towel shawl to be on me. Okay. I forgot. I do have a nursing cover that I could have used as a shawl, but oh well. <laughs> mm. Um. Okay. So. Today's topic is inspired by real life events, and I want to call—I wanted to call it "It's Okay to Cry." Oh, oh my love it. gosh! This so, is very Kath. I cried in front of a stranger today. What? <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I let feel me tell like I've you, never done that. Yeah, I'll tell you a little quick story. Like our start, concerts, but that is to really start count. my topic. So <laughs> I went to a workout class this morning. Oh. And um, <laughs> am I gonna start? She's laughing already. And. <laughs> <laughs> it was really hard and I felt like I was going to puke and afterwards the instructor was like do you want me to give you some modifications and I was like oh she thinks I'm horrible so, <laughs> so she started so this is like everyone had left it was just me and her luckily but I still did not know this person. I've never met her. I didn't know her from Adam or Sam or whatever they say. The teacher so, from yes. Adam or Sam. So, <laughs> so she told me aside and she's like, Aww. here's some modifications. And I was like, oh, it's so hard. And I was like, I used to be so much more like able to do these exercises like fit and now I can't do anything. And I felt like I was going to puke. <laughs> she was like, it's okay. She gave me a hug. She's like, don't worry. I understand. I was postpartum too. Aww. So I was... When I was driving away, I was still crying. And I was like, <laughs> you know what, Kath? It's okay to cry. And I just, I thought about it. And I was like, crying does not make you weak. Yeah. And, Amen. And yeah, it is embarrassing to cry in front of someone you don't know. I hate that. <laughs> Kath, I guarantee you, you're not the first person to cry in front of her after yeah, class. class I like, guarantee you. Uh, sounds like she really likes to comfort people and it, and it comes out of them. Maybe. I don't know. Sounds like she knows. She, she's pers- well, yeah, perceptive. she was like, oh, I've been where you are. I get it. So she, She's like, I know like this. Like when I, I ride in it. court and the judge is like, someone always cries. Yeah. <laughs> it was very common. I just want to say, I Two common so situations. hard not to cry. Like, I'll just be like. Aww. I'm like I'm like flexing my my cry muscles, <laughs> trying to hold it in. Oh, Kathy. But I just wanted to say to anyone that's cried in front of someone that you don't know or just in public and you felt embarrassed, I just want to say it's okay. And then I'm with you. And I wanted to share something about crying that I learned that is just sort of a good thought. So, this is from a Healthline article. Can't take the credit. Um, there's three types of tears. 
There's reflex tears, continue. No, seriously, this has a point, I promise. Reflex tears, continuous tears, and emotional tears. Reflex tears are like when smoke or dust gets in your eye and you start blinking and you just when you, you have contacts. Up. Right. Continuous tears um, lubricate your eyes and protect them from infections. That's like when your just eyes are wet in general. But emotional tears. Ooh, this is so cool. Emotion, it really is. Emotional tears, they say, have may have many health benefits. Um, whereas continuous tears contain 98% water, emotional tears contain stress hormones and other toxins. Researchers have theorized that crying flushes these things out of your system, though more research is needed in this area. Oh, wow. So I just wanted to share that with you in case you feel like, because I feel like some people have been shamed for crying by their, you know, That's families. That's such a thing, especially, especially as a boys. man. Oh, man. Oh. I when have, when yeah. you're a boy mom. I know, I was like, I have two sons. <laughs> like, let and it out, bear. The thought let of them being out. shamed for crying, I just... I'm like, no one better oh. ever. My inner Viking just comes out. <laughs> what a- I know. I just want to rescue them from any pain. But, you know, I can't do that. Everyone's got to feel their own pain. But yes. anyway, <laughs> I just wanted to say that... Um, there is a point to crying. That's why I shared that little factoid because <laughs> crying has a purpose and it does help Amen. your, it physically helps your body lighten the load mm. and it helps you to feel better. And um, you're not weak if you cry and you're not embarrassing or embarrassed. <laughs> yeah, Kat, I cry so, like all the time. That's it's fine. my unorganized but short sa- sappy thoughts of Kat. I said sass though. Kat, that was, that was really yeah. nice. So yeah, it was it's okay sappy. to cry. Mm, I appreciated you. it, Kat, <laughs> for you. your contribution. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, you guys. That's all we have for you today. Once again, if you want to check out, I guess, the last um, and the coming one that I mentioned, those are both, um, right? Am I saying that right? Those yeah. are both Patreon only? Yeah. Yes, I said it right. Those two episodes I mentioned at the beginning, both Patreon only. Um, join. Link in the description. Check it out. Try for months. See if you like it. There's so many... Um, a podcast episode in there so if you're a podcast stan you will love our patreon we'll see you guys in the next episode on patreon or the next next episode on youtube bye bye, bye. bye. you've been listening to the simarelli podcast follow simarelli on spotify and subscribe on youtube you can also find simarelli on twitter Jam. facebook and instagram at-